So this is Top Gear, and this is where I bought my Lamborghini from. Today I want to talk about the day I went and bought this Lamborghini. I bought this Lamborghini from Top Gear in Scotland. Here's my Lamborghini right here. You see, about a year and a half ago, I had the opportunity to buy one and scrolling the internet, as you do for a Lamborghini, as you do, I found this Lamborghini for sale at Top Gear. And it fit my budget. From the pictures it looked good. Description was pretty good. Capristo exhaust. When I was a kid, my mum came up to my bedroom and woke me up one night. She took me downstairs and sat me in front of the TV. And there was this film just about starting called Cannibal Run. I remember being transfixed for the entire movie. Actually, I was never meant to actually watch the entire movie. I was only meant to watch the first five minutes of the opening credits of the Lamborghini Tuntash. Being driven, being driven by some fairly tasty chicks. And I was only about five years old at that time, and that left a lasting impression on me. And when I was a kid, I knew that when I grew up, I was going to have a Lamborghini. I don't know how I was going to do it, I didn't know how I was going to do it, or whatever. But I knew that I was going to have a Lamborghini. Fast forward to about 22, when I was about 21, 22, Lamborghini released Merchilago. I really liked this, I really liked the Merchilago and as every iteration it got better until the last iteration which was the LP670 which is just my favourite Lamborghini, true Lamborghini ever but that particular Lamborghini I cannot afford, I don't think I will be able to afford that particular Lamborghini because it's just so rare, so expensive. But it is it is the last true Lamborghini there is. I know a lot of people like Aventadors and they're great looking cars, they really are. But they're more of a new chapter. I really like the last of the run of the last true Lamborghini. So my Merchilago is pretty much in that category that I wanted to be in. But about two years ago, I came into the opportunity of being able to afford one and being able to have one. And it was a case of, it was now or never. So I jumped to the chance of buying a Merchilago. So Top Gear is based in Scotland and at the time I was living in Cambridgeshire and it was about a seven hour drive to go see the car and seven hours drive back. So all in all in one day I did a 14 hour round return journey just to go see this particular car. If I was ever to buy another supercar I probably would take somebody else with me who was more of a rational thinker because the moment I saw this thing I was like I've got to have it I've got to have it no matter what and I think the dealer knew that to see it I'll lit up like a Christmas tree I just had to have this car no matter what so intoxicated by seeing it it just it was basically just get my wallet and throw it at the dealer 
That very day, I purchased a Lamborghini. I had to wait a couple of days because I, I asked for a service. I asked for it to be delivered because I wasn't going to drive it from Scotland or whatever, etc. etc. So, two days later, he arrived in the trailer with my now with my now Lamborghini and it's still even now a year and a half coming up to two years later it still hasn't sunk in yet it's still it, I still I'm still wowed over by it it's just this particular car is one of those things you idolize as a youth and now that you have it now that you've obtained it it's, it's a it's a mind crack, it really is. Big line.